My name is Amata, and in this Red Gaming Take video, I am here with a Vega themed video for you today. As we have some probably disappointing news for those of you who have perhaps been waiting for the custom cards from AIBs to become available. Now, obviously, it's been about a month since Vega officially released, yet if you if you look around on Amazon or wherever for a single custom Vega, no sign of them. Now, Asus is actually the first past the post in you know, announcing the Strix versions of the Vega 64 and 56, but neither of these are available anywhere yet. Now, we have an interesting report from Hardware.fr. And basically, according to them, none of the AIBs have any custom cards ready to announce other than, of course, Asus, who I've just mentioned. Now, one of them even went one step further and said that they don't think they can actually have any custom designs any time before mid-October. Now, you might say, that seems awfully late, given that, you know, again, it came out in August. Well, according to this one AIB, which of course is Add-in Board Partner, they do not even have a date for when they're supposed to be receiving shipments of Vega 10s to actually start, you know, building their custom cards with. You know, if they don't have Vega in their hands to tweak and say, oh, what if we add this, and what if we stick a fan here, and what if we make it all light up and look cool? You know, they, they can't do any of that without the actual stock to build their custom cards. So, at the moment, all of the Vegas that you've been getting from, you know, people like Asus, MSI, blah, 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 have been directly supplied by AMD, and all the... GPU makers have been doing is that you know slapping their sticker on it calling it good so if perhaps like me you're waiting for our custom cards to become available before you know dropping the cash on Vega it seems that unfortunately we have a little while left to let to wait Asus are again the only exception here and apparently their Strix cards will begin shipping this month but we don't know exactly when and obviously if you're not a fan of their design if for what you know perhaps you don't like the way it looks perhaps it's too expensive perhaps it's both um, then obviously you kind of SOL there, but they are the only AOB so far to have a custom uh, version of Vega available for sale. Now we do actually have a announcement separate to this from Biostar that they are working on some racing B350 motherboards and of course they are working on RX Vega 56. But while there is a page available for the 56, there is no price, no release date, nothing. You can't even buy it yet, it's literally just, hey, we're working on it, so it seems some of the partners are getting cards, some aren't, perhaps this is just going to be another case of Biostar slapping their sticker on it, perhaps it is going to actually be a custom card. Um, certainly the picture available on the website, which is linked below, is of a reference Vega, but obviously that doesn't really mean anything, it could just mean that they don't have... A image readily available of the custom card, but they do have a cool looking box with the Biostar logo on it, so I've got a feeling this isn't actually custom, this is just, hey, this is Biostar's Vega for now, until we can get our designers working on an actual, well, design. So, this is rather disappointing, as I said, I have been waiting myself for the custom cards to become available for Vega before dropping the cash, because, you know, the reference designs are fine, but... Um, obviously, th there are some pretty nice custom versions available of other graphics cards, like you know, 1070s and 390s and all the other stuff, RX 580, all that. You can usually find some you know tweaked up versions, some cool looking versions, all that, all that sort of stuff, just by having a little bit of patience and waiting. But it does seem our patience is being stretched awfully thin this time with Vega. But I suppose if you waited this long, then what is a couple of extra months, I suppose, and that is true, but it is still disappointing that we don't even have a vague idea of when exactly they're going to become readily available from a variety of partners. You know, Asus, again, having their Biostar announcing this one, but that's two options. It's not really that brilliant, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll get a answer soon from various companies as to when their variations are going to become available but for now it's just a kind of uh, which is not really the answer you were looking for i'm sure well all that said sorry to be the bearer of bad news but that is me done for this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time